this video we're going to demonstrate how to take off a wooden sliding door what has happened here is we are sanding it down and also you can see it's gotten quite stiff here so how do you get such a door off the rails well that's what we'll demonstrate now if you look at the top of the wooden door frames here the sliding door you'll see that the movable door cannot come outwards because firstly the other um, fixed part is in the way and by the nature of the construction you'll see that there's too many things in the way so what we've got to do is we've got to shift it or actually lift it and slide it to, to the inside of this uh, room and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside right so here is the door you can see how it slides here so what has to happen is we have to open this so that the door can slot outwards like that and if you have a look at how the door moves within that track you'll see there's a raised section here and also you'll see that uh, this piece here is in the way so the next step now is to move this piece ideally if you could you would just lift this door in some installations you can just lift the door up and then uh, take it off the rail at the bottom but because there's so little space here lifting the door is not going to do anything we have to start dis uh, uh, opening this up this uh, piece here in order to shift it out and let it slide outwards so what you'll see are screws along the sides of this track and that is what we're going to unscrew now Right, gently remove the top wooden strip. Do not bend it, otherwise it'll just break. Right, now you can see the track is exposed. And you can see how the uh, sliding door can move along that track. So all we need to do now is release this track so that the door can come like that. We'll just slide the door towards us, towards the inside. Right, so what you're gonna look for are screws fastening this track into the top piece. So now we're gonna unscrew the track screws. Right, make sure that somebody's holding the door while you're taking the screws out because this could literally just fall out as you can see how loose it is now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the door towards the middle. Right, then we're going to make sure that all the screws are out. Right, what you can see is it's almost embedded in this wood. I can't just slide this out. This is in the way. I don't feel like taking this out. So I'm going to go and work on the other side. Just be careful not to force anything. If you force something and you bend the track, then this door is not going to open and close nicely. Right, now on this side, you can see it's also wedged in here. But the person before, you can see they almost pushed it in here. You can see there's some scratchings there. Then don't forget people have painted this and it's almost increased the level, the, the height of this. So what's going to happen here is this has got to be peeled out without bending this track so i'm going to peel this out almost going to scratch this wood you can sand this down a bit if you're worried about scratch marks and then once i've uh, peeled this out then the whole rail will be able to move a little bit uh, this way and out all right so what i'm doing is i'm taking a screwdriver right at the end here and i'm i'm doing that to kind of force it this way all right now make sure there's somebody holding the door because when this comes out the door is easily going to just flop onto the floor Right, now I'm going to pull it out. Right, now the door can come out. Okay, stop there. Slide the track off. You don't need to travel with the track. Put the track out. There we go. Track is off. 
Right, now when you look at the bottom here, you can see the reason why we can't just lift and uh, and wedge it out because you can see the floor height is higher than the track height. So this is the reason why we're going to lean the door outwards. Then we'll lift it up above the floor height to get it off this bottom track. Is it heavy? Right, if you have a look here, you can see this wood has been scraping along the rail, adding friction because this wheel here needs to, you know, it's probably been worn down a bit, especially on the sides there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew this wheel and go and see if I can service it or get a new one. There are two wheels on this door. Right, so here you can see the wheel. This is what it looks like. I'm going to go and see if I can get a new one. Uh, this one isn't broken, um, it still moves nicely. Uh, the problem is, as you can see on the sides, it is pretty worn out here. Uh, and what happens is because it gets worn out, this height here gets uh, gets lowered. So if you see there, a new one will probably offer about two or so mils extra here, forcing the door to move upwards, stopping it from scratching along the track. So what you could do is uh, go get a new one of these and then insert it there. But also just prepare this. This is a very good opportunity to, uh, uh, to sand this and then seal this with some oil or varnish of your choice. Right, so this is the old roller and you can see how worn down it is. There it is. This is called a nylon roller. And what you'll notice is that there's a slight offset on this side and on this side but this side is bigger than that one so what you need to do see that gap there is wider than that side notice that this is is actually directional so you've got to be careful because it will shift the the, the alignment of the door and why i'm bringing that to your attention is now if you look on the new one you'll see that that's actually more uh, that's exaggerated a bit more because this is a brass wheel so it's a, it looks a bit thinner but it actually highlights that difference in the gap right now when you do get your replacement you'll have to decide are you going to still put the nylon its weight carrying capacity is a bit less actually quite a bit less than the steel uh, roller and then there's also something called a brass one now i got brass because the place where this is being installed uh the environmental conditions you know in terms of the uh, water there's a lot of water there therefore brass is better water getting at the bottom of the track so i've gone for the brass and also it can ha can handle quite a lot more weight all right just having a look at these two they might look identical but they are not i mean just if you just want to uh, uh just having a look here for example this is 18.2 while on the replacement you can see there is 18.9 this is a minor difference but i'm just highlighting to you that you might need to just uh, uh, tap it a bit and may maybe even sand a bit when you're putting it in which we'll see shortly all right so this is what the replacement looks like you're going to need uh, two of these or depending how many your sliding door has in my case it's got two then on the top of the door, this is the uh, guide roller, and you can see what's happened here. Uh, look at that amount of free play. Now, this is a brass roller, but what's happened there is there's way too much free play. So this is the replacement, and uh, it's got much less free play. Now, once again, you can get a nylon one or a brass, and what you'll see here is that the person who uh, installed this one actually cut it, because if you look here, the replacement um, is shorter. So... In your case, you might also have to do this. I'm just going to cut this with a grinder, which you'll see shortly in the video. So I'm going to be replacing the wheel, the, the roller, the bottom roller, as well as the guide wheel on the top here, the guide roller. All right. Right, you can see we've prepared the surface here. We've uh, sanded this down and uh, removed all the rot, the wood that was rotten, and now can change the wheel, the roller. Now just be careful when you take it out, as you can see, you must bring it out straight. If you wedge it out or if you're too rough, you'll tear this wood. See, this is very thin. That's less than 10 mil. So it can easily crack here along the line there. So what you're going to do here is you gently feed it one side and one side. And now it's a good idea if you've got a blower, just to blow out any dirt in there. 
Right, now, unfortunately, as I said, these are not exactly the same. Two different manufacturers, and this new one is about one millimeter thicker. Maybe even two millimeters thicker. So I've just got to scrape it out a little bit here. Otherwise, I run the risk of actually, can you see how it wants to open that? Look at that. Can you see how it's, it's, it's can you see how the, the timber there is actually wanting to tear open so I've just got to scrape this a bit just to make it a bit wider Right, now as I said, uh, there's a slight offset there. Now I want the door to be more this way. So I'm going to insert it with a gap that's wide on that side. If you find that once you've inserted it, the door doesn't slide the way you want it, you can always flip these. Right, now do the back one. Right, if you're wondering what this is, this is a little spacer. Obviously the person before uh, lifted the wheel a bit, it was probably scraping when they installed their first uh, set of rollers. I'm gonna keep it there. If necessary, I can take it out uh, or I could even put another one there. But considering this is a brand new roller, I'm not too worried about the spacing at this moment. Right, now because these are two different manufacturers, you can see firstly the uh, holes are actually mirrored, mirror image of each other and also it's a bit shorter. So I'm now just going to cut it. In terms of where this uh, roller is, whether it's a bit there or there, it doesn't matter. What's important is if it's offset to the left or the right and in this case it's dead center. So it doesn't matter if I cut a little bit too much and it sits more there or if it sits more there, that's not what's important. What's important is that the total length is the same. Now, in this case, I've cut it a bit close to that hole. Um, it is pretty thick metal, so I'm not too worried about it. But the best way to do it, and I'll, I'll do it now with this one, I just want to show you the best uh, practice because the, when you insert the screw there, it is putting force. It is putting force, and it might split that open. So I'm going to cut this one, and I'm going to cut it uh, showing you a better uh, method. Now here you can see I've left uh, about three mils there, so that's going to be much stronger, and that's that's better. If you're finding it's not fitting, you can just chip out uh, the gap there on the door, or you can cut it like maybe a mil away from this side. All right, so that's where the original one was. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be swapping it with this one, but you can see the screws are mirror image. So, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do, uh, put it here, but it's going to be, uh, I'm going to have to put new screws there, new screw holes. So there you can see the line is right. Uh, yeah, so that one is a good one because you can see there's still a lot of space there. Uh, this one on the other hand is also fine, um, but as I said, just be careful if you cut too close to the side there. Um, there's a bit of pressure there and it can split the metal, but as I said, uh, this metal is pretty thick, so I'm not too worried about that. Right, do not put any oil in there. This thing must remain dry. A mistake that people do is they think they need to oil these things. Don't oil any of this stuff.
right now there's the new roller right now there's the new top roller and all you need to do now is just cheat the wood and reinstall the uh, sliding door right so it's a very good idea now to quickly clean out the uh, bottom rail if you can just clean it with some thinners then clean the wood uh, file it down sand it down scrape it whatever you need to do in our case uh, this wood was in quite bad condition so we're now cleaning it out the reason why you do this now is you, firstly you've just installed new rollers so you don't want this dunk to get in the roller uh, uh, firstly secondly um, you know the door is off you've got the space and uh, it's fine you, if you don't don't do it now it's not the end of the world it's fine because you can shift the door to the left you can shift the door to the right so you can do this at a later stage however the treating of the underside of the sliding door underneath the sliding door which I'm going to show you now that you have to do now otherwise you'll have to take the door off in the future just to treat the underside of the sliding door all right and lastly just check the condition of the track you might need to replace your track in our case i'd already checked it before i went to get the new rollers the track is fine okay now in our case um we're just sanding the inner section of the door and the reason why is because once you put that sliding door there you can't get to this strip of the wood now we're also doing a bit of refurbishment on the sliding door so if you're just changing the rollers you don't have to do these extra steps in terms of uh, uh painting and sanding and painting this uh, wooden strip it's just because we've got access that's why we're doing it right now you must clean the track with thinners get all the grease and uh, sticky stuff out of here people have uh, tried to oil this and it's actually just sticky Right, so you put the sliding door on and then you slide it left to right to make sure that the bottom part is working. And what we're checking for is that the alignment in terms of is the door too forward or too inwards? Is it going to scratch on the, on the inside here? See here. So we've now ascertained that there's no scratching. Now, right, once we've done this first test, then what we'll do is we'll have to unfortunately take it off again because we need to treat the wood. If you leave the wood exposed now that it's been sanded down, how will you get to the inside here to treat the wood? So now we have to do is uh, a little paint inside. So what we're checking is we're checking if it's catching on the inside here and it is pretty close but I don't think it's going to be a problem. It's that, that gap there is what you're looking for. Is it going to catch or not? Okay the next step now is to take it off again and now put the oil on the door to seal the bottom of the door so that the water doesn't cause the wood to swell up. Because the underside of the door here is bare, we need to treat it, otherwise it's just going to swell up when there's water. So what we're going to do is we're going to use an oil, and we're only going to put it on the bottom here, because on this side here we're going to use varnish. But because varnish takes a long time to dry, and also gets very sticky, we're just going to put oil here just to seal the parts which we won't be able to get to once this is on the track. So we're going to use an oil, oil and on the side here at a later stage we'll do the full varnishing.
okay, just because we are doing the refurbishment, we're just varnishing this part which we don't have access to when the sliding door is back uh, in the uh, door frame. So now we're just doing the varnishing and then also you'll see shortly the uh, varnishing of the sliding door itself which we also are going to do now because uh, we can't get access to that part of the sliding door. There you can see we're just varnishing that part. The rest of the door we'll refurbish uh, at a later stage. You might be wondering why we're doing this in, in bits and pieces. The reason is we can't leave uh, the, the, the insulation with the door off for very long. Uh, it's very cold at the moment in this place, so we're just varnishing the parts which we won't be able to get to when we do the uh, continue with the restoration of this uh, window frame and doors of this uh, house. All right, so now carry on with the installation of the sliding door. All right, so now we're putting the sliding door part on the rail on the track for the final time. You might, if you're not sure why we've taken this on off on off. Well, the first time we took, we put it on just to check that the uh, bottom rollers were in the right orientation. Remember, they are a little bit directional. You can shift them, and it does change the way the uh, door, um, the, the the alignment of the door. So that was the first one, and also to make sure that the, it's not scraping on the inner to the outer. Right now, so that was done. Now we uh, took it off also just to treat the bottom of the the wood because we can't get to that part of the wood so now this is the final insulation I'm putting the track on uh, for the uh, very last time and now the door will be ready for use right now you can see it's in the rail and you can see it moves very very easily so what you're hearing is the brass rollers the brass rollers are a little bit more noisy the nylon ones are quieter, but then obviously the brass lasts longer. All right, and that is why we varnish just on the inside and over here, because you can't get to that point once the sliding door is back in place. And then what we do is we, we put oil here rather than varnish because the oil penetrates nicely. Um, be very uh, liberal with how you uh, put this oil on, uh, even if it's uh, wet after an hour it's fine you really want it to seep in there because someone will come with a hose pipe and clean the the tiles or this or, or you'll be cleaning your tiles water will seep in there and eventually rot that wood so you can see how much oil we've used here here we're still going to oil but people are still walking in and out here and then under the door we put the oil as well now what we'll do is now we're going to varnish this and do a proper job here in terms of a, a top coat here but you can't get to the bottom of the door and that is why we've put the oil there also, it's not very sticky, so you can use it immediately. And now we can carry on with the uh, paintwork. But there you go. That is the job of how you install new rollers, uh, bottom rollers and top rollers, and uh, kind of refurbish your door. All right. Thanks for watching. Cheers.